James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is November 1st, 2023, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, towards the end of the day yesterday, we had a very large filament eruption as seen here. A long-term event which seemed to open up a large coronal hole behind it. Since then, we've had an M1.1 solar flare and an M1.42 solar flare. Now, over to GOES solar ultraviolet imager, part of that satellite that we were just using to look at those M flares, the GOES satellite. Obviously, we have a problem on our hands. It can't go every which way of it loose, but it seems to be doing just that. It goes one way and then the other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is much harder to explain than what we saw yesterday. You can also see that there's coral holes developing throughout the sun here with a very large one about to be earth facing. And we do have a wicked sunspot coming around the limb. AR three four seven seven and it is flaring heading over to our D region absorption prediction center we will be able to catch that second M flare right there almost directly in the Atlantic I know lots of Africa and parts of South America were also covered in this but that was a big one folks as far as size now, I've never seen the D-Region Absorption Prediction Model manipulated, but they've removed some time, which is very interesting to me. Why would they have done this? Well, let's see. They definitely did it. question is, is there it was. Never seen it before. In all the years I've been looking at this model, looks like they've removed just over an hour and a half of data from the D region absorption prediction center. I'm going to call that freakish. All right. I've got some more freaky stuff going on uh, here. We're over at STO looking at our sun at 193 angstroms on the left and 171 angstroms on the right. The reason I haven't told y'all where the M 1.1 and 1.4 came from is that no one seems to know. Now, I believe it came from this sunspot right here that's so active that's coming around the limb, and there were probably much larger explosions than what our ghost satellite picked up. First, we'll show you the film eruption from last night. Bam! There it is right through there. Then we're facing a huge coral hole after that, and then we have this new sunspot, and this doesn't take us very far around. 3477, AR 3477, I believe both M flares came from that. They also modeled the filament and said it would not be hitting Earth, but we all know how that goes. Now, we only have one complex sunspot, according to NASA and NOAA, on the sun. And, of course, that's going to be AR3474. And it's this sunspot right here. I was expecting the M flares to be generated from that. I don't necessarily say I see that happening. Uh, my guess would be the limb over here. We don't have enough data in, and most of the data seems corrupted today. All right, this is our complex sunspot, AR3474, and this one looks just as complex, if not more so. It just came around the limb here, AR3477. I'm pretty sure that both the M1 and M1.42 were generated from AR3477, but I'm waiting for confirmation from both NOAA or NASA. As you can see, looking at the events over the last 24 hours, we've got some holes in the data. So the M1.1 and the M1.42 
uh, have not been assigned a sunspot group if, in fact, they were created by a sunspot and not another filament eruption. Here's a close-up of that large filament eruption that sent a coronal mass ejection into space. It looks like the model says it won't be hitting Earth, no glancing blow, etc., although time will tell, as it always does. That is a very large filament. I'd also like to point out this lightning or solar flare, whichever it is, uh, that happens around the same time the filament occurs. Don't know what it is, but uh, it looks like it's associated with the filament eruption and might have popped off that sunspot with a flare as well. So what do we know after today's video? Well, we know we had a couple of flares, but we don't know where they came from. We also know that for the second day in a row, something really strange is going on with our ghost solar ultraviolet imager. It's like it's heading every direction, but staying still. We also know that they messed with our D region absorption prediction center and removed over an hour and a half of time for what I think is the first time I've ever seen that occur. My guess is take all this data with a grain of salt. It looks like they are messing around big time based on how the equipment is working. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.